So this box is full of Cohen's two by two coin flips. So there's all kinds of different sizes. Let me show you those first and then we'll put a coin in one. I'll show you how I do it. So we have this size here. It looks like it's pennies or nickels, one of the two. It's not really labeled. I have them all mixed up in here. I'm just gonna set this over here. Then we've got, um, looks like dollars, right, dollars. More pennies and nickels or quarters perhaps. You know, all the different sizes are in this box. I think every single possible size of um, Cohen's is in this box. Well, it goes deep. Look how deep the box goes. There are so many in here. I have so many. I mean, this should last me for the rest of my life. Um, I mean, yeah, wow. Wow, look at that. There's more down here. I'm going to see what size this is. Here we go. These are the smaller ones. Okay. There we go. Maybe dimes or pennies. So all of them are there. And I'm going to put these back. And I'm just going to show you um, how to put a coin in one of these. So I'm going to get a coin and a stapler. So you need a stapler, some staples, and some Cohen's 2 by 2s And we'll do it. I'm back. So normally when I handle coins, I try to wear gloves. But this is just a... A 1964 Washington Quarter. Looks like it's a D. Denver. Silver. Not in amazing condition. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in the 2x2. Two two. So basically, you lay it flat and you lay the coin there. You, you position it the way you want it, okay? So like, if you tilt the head, if the tilt the head is going to bother you, um, try to position it the way you want it. And you gently close here and there you go it's starting to crease by the way um these are a little bit thicker like these are good quality okay so the cohen's are really good quality yeah that's nice it's really nice and then you staple staple and staple and there you have it. And you just do that for the different sizes. So that's how you put coins in one of these. Now you can do another staple here, but I don't think there's a po no point because it's closed there. Some people do diagonal staples. Um, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice quarter. It looks good in the little holder. And the nice thing about this holder is you can write something on it. So I'm gonna get a pen. And I think I have a pen somewhere over here. Yes, we have a pen. I'm going to write something on it. So you can write whatever you want, right? You can write where you got it, uh, how much it cost you, um, what you think it's worth, why you bought it, um, the year. I'm going to write the year, even though it's on the coin. So 1964. And this one has uh, a mint mark. It's hard to see. There's the mint mark. It's a little bit dark in here. It's D. So I'm going to put D. And I'm just going to do that. So that, that's the nice thing about these, right? You can write whatever you want on these. And they protect your coins. Your coin is protected, right? So, yeah, really nice. Um, these are supposed to be um, archival safe, I'm pretty sure. Um, you know, Cohen's is a good brand. So, yeah, these, these, I mean, at least mine, I have so many, they're going to last me forever. So I guess it depends how many you need, right? But you can get these in packs and different sizes. Um, different quantities and, and different sizes. This is the one for quarters. Yeah, I like them a lot. I am very happy with these. Good luck and take care.